Hey, Eddie from the Bat Cave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my pulls, got a nice little stack here. Um, plus a couple mail calls and a haul, all right? So let's get going, so I won't waste too much of your time. First off, new from DC Comics. Jay Garrick, The Flash, issue number one. I got the variant cover by Serge Acuna. Pretty nice father and daughter there. I just love this cover. That It was more of a cover by when I was ordering it. Look at that. Beautiful, huh? That's so cute. Like that. Okay, continue on. World's Finest, number 20. Return to Kingdom Come. Damn, more are there, right? Nightwing 107, I got variant cover by Dan Mora. Oh, I just love this guy's artwork. But look at what, look at that. What I like about it is they have Robin starting since 1940 there. Then it's just like a timeline. Pretty cool, huh? Like that, a little behind on the story there. Variant cover by Joshua Sway Swabby, Catwoman. The story continues with that war that's going on with Batman. Look at that cover. I couldn't resist. There was multiple good covers out there. And I ended up with the black and white. That one. Another great cover. David Finch, Superman, issue number seven, which I haven't, I'm a little behind on Superman. Been busy a little bit. But look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful cover there. All right, new from DC. And teaming up with Legendary Comics, Justice League versus Godzilla versus Khan. Read this before I came on. Story wasn't that bad. This happens before Superman and Lois got married. So this is like a before then. All right. Evil villains are in there. Lex Luthor's involved. Pretty good. It was good. I won't say pretty good, but it was a good story. All right. Got a little wraparound cover. Got excited though. I like King Kong and I also like Godzilla. And look at this, I got the foil variant, variant, excuse me. All right, so one of my uh, mail call from an eBay seller, her name is Lisa, but she owns the com um, comic, um, Amp Comic, like that. Great, great lady, I was talking to her back and forth. She sent me a couple extra stuff. She sent me Captain Marvel, that one. I don't remember seeing these cars before. Uh, all right, and she sent me a thank you thing, Lisa. All right, she's in, on eBay, so look for Amp Comics, all right? Or you can go to that website there. Thank you, Lisa, for this, but let me show you what she uh, I bought from her. I got Wonder Woman 175. All right, the reason why I got this book was because I was watching a, a documentary on Max channel called Superpower Documentary of DC. Very good stuff. Um, Jimenez did the drawing and how they were trying to change up the stories, but they couldn't. There was a, a you got to read it, but there was a story in here where Superman, the lasso was around him and he was just bawling his eyes out because there was some stuff going on. So I'm not going to say what it is, but it's an old book, it's, uh, Wonder Woman 175. Really great and has a nice dedication towards the end. Of 9 11. So that was that from her. But um, you got to watch that show, the documentary on, on Max with these. A lot of interesting stuff. I learned a lot of stuff in that. So this is from Lisa. All right. Got it in a good price, too. Armor Wars number one. She gave me a couple extra books. I think this is one of the extra ones. All right. And I got Batman 54 because that variant to sale. Captain America 204. Lisa, thank you for dealing with me. Uh, the Invisible Iron Man 94, she had a lot of old stuff. I had to stop myself. I'm gonna go back to her to look at some other thing. Marvel 2 and 1, number two. Got a little rip, but that's okay. It's a number two. With the Submariner. All right, and she, what's the other one here? Oh, that was from that Wonder Woman. And she also gave me this poster here. I don't fold it yet. So let me see, what is it? Oh. Oh, oh I don't rip it. There we go. Let me 
stand up for this. Pretty cool, she included that with the, the sales. So if you're looking for a buyer, a seller, check her out. I like the communication that we have together. So that, that was pretty good. All right. Thank you again, Lisa. And I got another book from, let me see. Anthony's Comic Art. That's also from eBay. He sent me a nice little thank you letter. A little business card there. Really appreciate that. And this book. Yeah. I was pretty excited about this. I was looking for it for a while now because I used to own it as a kid. I lost it throughout the move with my mom and everything. But look at that. Yeah, brought me back a lot of memories. And I got it at a good price from him. It was packaged very well, just like what Lisa did on the amp there. Um, it, it made it like Fort Knox. The books were not gonna get damaged from these two sellers. It was packed very well, was very impressed. He sent me, again, that thank you letter and that little sticker. So you can check him out as well. He has some, also some good prices. All right, that's that. And, there's a flea market up in Palmer, Mass. I just happened to go by there. I heard about it. The lady's name was, I think, Donna? Oh, no, Jen. I was there. It was from the Yankee Flea Market out in Palmer. They're open Tuesday um, through, Saturday, through Sunday, okay? And these is what I picked up. It's a big store. You got to look around. They even had some um, slabs there. And uh, they were reasonably priced, but I'm not, I don't know the pricing too much on the slabs. They were like 55 to sixty dollars to seventy dollars in a box all right they were like in a box like that and next to it was regular comic books so i ended up picking up their double 300 i probably have it but this is in a better condition and the prices were pretty good it was like three bucks with this one marvel team up in the gargoyle number 119 there we go another marvel team up 111 Marvel team up 126. If he had a whole bunch, I would have bought more. There you go. The oldest one there was Strange Sports number two. I had to pick it up. I didn't want to leave that alone in the box. You know, nice 20 center there. And I also got Captain America number 25, the director's cut. All from that box. Big store too. They had other boxes there from other vendors, but this was like the better pile. All right, okay. Okay, so. That's all I have for you guys. I'm, I'm going a little bit long on the, the thing. So anything you want to talk about, give me a holler. Let me know. As always from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.